if your breeders aren't in top-notch shape, they raise weak young, the young have low immune systems, they in turn are susceptible to worms, parasites, they're susceptible to all the things that will drag a bird down. Like now when I leave this show, I'm gonna go home and my birds are getting plain yogurt in their water for like a week, a probiotic boost, lactobacilla. And then I'll have them on diatomaceous earth for warming. Uh, the chemical warmers are great, but diatomaceous earth, it scrubs them out inside. Um, then they'll go on a high protein, medium fat diet, along with the probiotics continual in the water, which I use is, I'll use yogurt, um, gonna laugh at me, carrot juice. Carrot, keratin is real important. Keratin makes the quill in your feather. Their feathers are the same stuff your fingernails are made of. Their beak, their toenails, their feathers. I give them carrot juice, yogurt. Um, I believe in the probiotic stuff. Um, the most important part of the yogurt is that yellowish water off the top. That's where all your nutrients really are. Um, give that to a pigeon when he's breeding, you will see the healthiest young birds. If you were hand feeding, you could hand feed a baby pigeon plain yogurt and like baby cereal. And it'll grow faster than, it re actually replaces the pigeon milk. But without good nutrition, your birds are susceptible to everything. And everybody, oh, uh, apple cider vinegar and garlic. Actually, garlic can be toxic to birds. Too much of uh, is it's too much of a good thing. And acidified, uh, the, acidifying their uh, a digestive system with uh, vinegar. You know how long that lasts? About five minutes. When you eat a salad with vinegar and oil dressing, do you think that acidifies your digestive system? Maybe five minutes because the acids in your stomach are stronger than that vinegar. You want to acidify your loft, sulfur is a loft dressing. A little bit of sulfur in the water, powdered sulfur. Health, hygiene, nutrition, that is, and they say, oh, a pigeon can get by on 11% protein, nah, no, 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 no. You've got to give them variable things. Now, do you give your birds vegetables? I'll give my birds lettuce, I'll give them carrot peelings, I throw a tomato cut in half in there, cucumbers, all that kind of, that's another thing, like these pellets that they make for pigeons, it's all grains and grain byproducts. There's no vegetables in it. If they really want to do something, put peas in there, put carrots in there, uh, alfalfa, vegetable matter, along with the grains. Feather quality, if you want a good feather, you need natural vitamins, natural minerals, um, lysine is very important. Soybeans are a big supply, uh, uh, source of lysine. Lysine makes for a strong quill. Uh, it makes the, uh, the feather come easily out of the follicle. Uh, you don't get feathers where the, uh, uh, the sheath stays on, that drops off. You, it, it, feather quality, I mean, you don't want a feather brittle where it breaks, but you want a feather where you bend it and let go and it snaps back. And the feather quality is what makes that bird fly and stay there. Um, what good is a racer when the flights are wore out to a, a quill? What good is a roller that after spinning for the summer, it's all quill? It, it loses the bird, uh, loses its edge, its performance. So anything you can do to... Anything you can do to better the bird's performance through nutrition. There is no magic hoodoo voodoo. It takes time to study what your birds need. You can't live on oatmeal alone or McDonald's alone. You have to eat a balanced diet. So do your birds. They need plant matter, gr uh, green plant matter. They need grain. Um, believe it or not, a little bit of animal matter in there. Um, good source of uh, uh, animal protein for the birds, dried shrimp. Um, I go to the Mexican grocery store and they sell those little packets of dried shrimp, they call it chicharrones or whatever. I crush it up, I throw it in with the grit, the birds go crazy on it.